Hi everyone, I'm here with Adam Benedictson and Simon Heron. They, you guys just had your first rehearsal. Yeah. And obviously you guys have participated before. Yeah. What does it feel, what does it feel like being back on that stage <clears throat> once again? Yeah, it feels I great. Mean, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it feels, um, it's so much fun and I'm so excited. But man, I forgot how much like, how there's so many different processes of yeah. this production. Yeah. And how like, how hard it is, but also how quickly you get it, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a shock and a relief at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really, mm -hmm. like, it's, it's so much information. And you, like, you get the information the day before, but then you do it, and it's, like, completely gone. Because you're <laughs> just like, oh, shit. But also, yeah, now like, I'm here. Now I'm supposed to do the thing they not, said yeah, yesterday. It's not just the information. It's for, like, the amount of information yeah. you get. And yeah. it's like, okay, I've only got... We went, you only get the stage for like the one week in and it yeah. also depends on how you do that yeah. week as well as like so if you've done it once then when you get to yeah. Stockholm or to Under the Hansen then yeah. like okay I'm yeah. used to it now but like yeah. if you only get this shot I was like yeah, yeah. And, and also like I mean I kind of like thinking back on like the the rehearsal that we did yesterday yeah. which is like an off stage kind of thing that's so pointless yeah. I mean, I'm sorry but like I, it, it's so hard to understand how that reflects on an, for an actual camera, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, but it went yeah. well, like, yeah. mm -hmm. it did. Yeah. I mean, I, I sing perfectly, like, you all hear yeah. it a little <laughs> bit differently, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. You nailed but, it. Yeah, Girl, you, nailed you nailed it. it. Yeah. But with, seriously, though, we hope you feel better soon. Yeah. And yeah. I see you, well, I kind of like when we saw it, I saw some, like, facial expression where you, I think you were trying to hit a high note, but yeah. obviously you weren't hitting it. Yeah. So it's like, I can't wait to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. So now, as I said earlier on, you guys have taken part in Melody Festival before. Yeah. I was just wondering, what have you guys been up to since your previous participation? Because obviously you had a bit of a gap. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask you guys what you have been doing up until now, basically. I became a father. That's one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. With actually... Uh, host from from svt as well mm -hmm. um so uh, it's that's a little yeah. yeah that's what, yeah exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not, <laughs> not the host or anything no but um so uh uh she's we have a little mellow kid basically Aww. yeah but uh i work as a producer and songwriter and uh, i've written a bunch of great songs with a lot of really cool artists and mm -hmm. uh, I've been out touring a lot with some different artists, actually mm -hmm. behind the scenes as well. I've been playing with an artist called Arash mm -hmm. uh, and playing in the United States and Russia and uh, yeah, a lot of crazy places. Mm -hmm. so I've, yeah, And I've worked with Ellen as yeah. well as yeah. a songwriter. Yeah. I mean, I, I, uh, I took a little like um, break from um, the whole Melody Solon circus um, yeah. after my second uh, participation because I um, I just felt like I needed to uh, I was very young and yep. uh, it had all gone by very quickly and mm -hmm. I needed to kind of break out a little bit and um, do a little bit of um, experiment yeah. I would say mm -hmm. so I started a project called Laura Knox um, mm -hmm. because I didn't want it to immediately be associated with Melody Solon and me and the things mm -hmm. I had done before not that I wasn't proud of it but just that I felt like it wouldn't have an honest, like, um, yeah, just like an... You wanted to be free in your expression. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and not have any expectations, kind of. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so I did that, and that was, like, a, a bit darker, and I was, like, playing around with, I don't know, an alter ego personality yeah. and stuff like that. So kind of like Beyonce or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, had yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, which was uh, super fun, and I learned a lot. And mm -hmm. I, um, I, I just like basically like um, learned to be a lot more independent, mm -hmm. and um, you know, get contacts and work with different people and all yeah. that, which was really fun. But I think I also learned that it's really tough being in the music industry. Yes. <clears throat> and doing something that independent, then that must be why you want to do music. And mm -hmm. I kind of realized during the journey, because, I mean, it wasn't as easy as when I was in Melissa Allen. And I was like, hmm, why, why am and I, like, feeling happy about this? And I was yeah. like, okay. And I tried to break it down. Like, why did I, from the start, you know, do music? Why was it that I wanted mm -hmm. to do it? It's like that was all about singing for me. Mm -hmm. And in my Laura Knox Pride, I kind of didn't let my voice be... The main instrument. Yeah. Um, 
So I kind of realized that maybe that wasn't totally right for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm kind of back yeah. where I started a little bit again. You've done some songwriting as well, haven't you? Yeah. I noticed that you, is it, correct me if I'm wrong, you co-wrote Michael Rice's oh, yeah, I did. new song. Yeah. Somebody, what was that? Did you actually meet him or did you yeah, just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were in a session with him uh, a couple of uh, months ago. Yeah. Uh, this on, so it was very quickly. And he and mm -hmm. I just sat down and um, it was him and I and two other producers yeah. uh, and just kind of played around with stuff and yeah. he told me what he wanted the song to be about and together we came yeah. up with this song uh, Somebody yeah. which is a really cool song I think yeah no it's like uh, all the Eurovision fans like how can he talk bigger than us and then <laughs> yeah. he did that yeah. <laughs> he also actually has uh, another song that we co-wrote together yeah. that's really cool. That's my actual, mm -hmm. my favorite. Um, it's a bit different from his like sound right now, yeah. um, but it's really cool. Um, well, Michael, if you're watching this, just yeah. release it. Just release it. Yeah. Yeah. Hear it. <laughs> Very excited for yeah. him. He's such a talented and just like such a fun and like, mm -hmm. yeah, great person. Yeah. Really, yeah. really liked working with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right then, so now obviously, um, I keep coming back to the fact that you guys participated. Obviously, you guys have had different genres. Obviously, obviously you had insomnia last time. Yeah. And you were outrigger my crow. Yeah, outrigger. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, how does it feel to come back with, obviously, with something that's really, like, on the contrast yeah. of what you had about, let's say, four or five years ago? So was it difficult? Was it easy or mm -hmm. did it did, is, is it just because the fact that like time has passed and like ev of, of course everyone matures and yeah everyone kind of like finds themselves which you really think you find the pl you found the right suit yeah for me i would kind of say that it's it's like coming back to where i started like i feel like this is um a lot similar to songbird in the sense where um the reason why <clears throat> this song is so good or one of the reasons is that the voice the voices are mm -hmm. the main instruments. And that was also Songbird's big thing, um, while Insomnia was um, something different. Yeah. So I feel very much at home with this song. Yeah. Yeah. And for you? For me, uh, I mean, I came from, from the rock genre, and um, I, I love rock, but it's always been about great melody. So the transition for me going from metal to doing this isn't actually that big. Mm -hmm. as people might think because just because I scream doesn't mean that I like but um, my main focus has always been writing great melodies and writing songs that mm -hmm. make a difference like make you feel something and uh, it's more of a like now I'm actually showing all my sides to people but mm -hmm. it's it's not new to me or yeah. the people I've worked with but it's mm -hmm. it's yeah I and I love doing it with Ellen because She's such a talented singer and just so much fun to hang around with. So yeah. I'm just, I'm feeling very confident in my mm -hmm. role here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just say, now that you said you've obviously worked together previously, yeah. Yeah. do you think you'd create more music together? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. oh, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, if it's um, another like thing that we do together, could definitely be, mm -hmm. but um, mm -hmm. we will definitely work together. Yeah. Um, Ellen just is writing a, together such a talented is... writer and uh, I love working with her. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, same. Yeah. And one last question, how you, how you feeling about Saturday? It's going to be awesome. Right I, now we're so tired. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, honestly, I can imagine. Like, yeah. Honestly, I just like, I'm not, I'm not worried that like my voice, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that like it'll, you know, and you can always like blast yeah. out like mm. one time, but it's more that I just want to sing. I yeah. just want to yeah. do yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So that's been a little, Having yeah. to mm. keep yourself at hold, mm. sort of, yeah. But tomorrow. Yeah. Being a trust. Yeah. I get it. And then to wrap this up then, yeah. is there anything you want to say to international fans just over there? Uh, well, that we hope that you like our song yeah. and uh, that you root for us and um, yeah, keep all the fingers crossed. Yeah, we're and so vote, happy you guys you are with us <laughs> in this journey and uh, thank you for all the support and uh, yes. yeah, we love you. So thankful.